this is a very active space. There's a lot happening in, in automotive uh, infotainment or entertainment. Um, historically, automotive has always revolved around audio because it's it's a uh, you can listen and drive at the same time. And the predominant ways of consuming audio in the car were radio or physical media like a CD-ROM or USB stick, or, or more recently, you can plug your phone in and stream audio from uh, other places. But uh, as this moves forward, we are providing enhanced audio directly to the vehicle through IP communications. So the vehicle may have uh, a radio tuner or multiple radio tuners, but it also may have a cell data modem. And we can use that data path to provide uh, a lot more features and functionality. One of the uh, the key pieces of the, the DTS Auto Stage product in relation to radio is the ability to take that dial that used to be just a series of numbers on the screen or, or a physical dial or, or things like that and turn it into a, a more um, visual experience. So instead of just seeing frequencies on the dial, uh, we provide the ability to show the station names and the station logos in a list. Uh, beyond that, we can show you what's playing on those stations as you scroll through them. So you don't have to tune into the stations to find out what's playing. You can just see, oh, there's uh, a song, there's the artist, and there's a picture of the artist, for instance, as you, you scroll through. Or if you're listening to non-music content, like a, an interview or a talk show, uh, we can show that data as well. So it makes browsing through radio more like browsing through um, a catalog of, of um, selected content on a, on a streaming service, but it's broadcast radio. Radio and it's it's local to you. Um, that is that is a um, an advanced feature of of hybrid radio. But you go beyond that and you start looking at other functions like um, podcasts. We can link broadcast radio to the podcast that that broadcaster produces, for instance. So if you're listening to a program that you like, you might be able to hit a button on your screen and it will show you a list of those podcasts that you can subscribe to that that broadcaster produces. And as we look towards uh, things like more autonomous driving or, or heavily augmented driving vehicles, and we look at rear seat entertainment, we uh, can expand those features to even be more visual. We can provide things like lyrics to the song that's playing uh, over the radio or through um, uh, an another medium. We can provide enhanced metadata such as artist images, pictures of the artist, album covers, uh, biographies, things like that. Uh, and even recommendations uh, based on on the listening habits in uh, in other radio stations. So, for instance, you could be driving from one physical location to another through a couple of cities, and as as the radio broadcast fades out, uh, we can offer several options. We can offer um, the ability to uh, select the internet audio stream for that broadcast station as the broadcast itself starts to fade so you can continue listening as if you were still in the same area. Or if that station is being rebroadcast on another frequency, we can automatically switch you over to that other broadcast so you can continue listening. Or we can offer a recommendation of other stations in that new area, that new market, that are similar to the station that you were just listening to. So for instance, if you were listening to jazz and you're driving through uh, another market, you can see a recommendation for other jazz stations in that area. And it goes beyond just the infotainment or entertainment concept, uh, because we can provide things like enhanced emergency alerts and, and other things like that that can directly relate to, uh, to automotive safety. So the, the real key factor here is the, the growing prevalence of cellular data connections and robust cellular data connections to the vehicle and the, uh, the rollout of 5G and, and more modern and bandwidth heavy mobile networks throughout the world. That is really the key to delivering uh, a lot of these enhanced services to the car. If you recall, uh, there were days when we all had dial-up modems and broadband was just starting to roll out. And the products and services that were available on the internet in the days of dial-up uh, changed dramatically once broadband became ubiquitous. And we can, uh, we can do things that we couldn't 
even anticipate uh, doing on dial-up. And once broadband grew and broadband uh, increased in the bandwidth available on those connections, uh, the products and services increased along with them. And that same thing will happen in automotive. As the data connections increase in prevalence and, and in speed, the services and, and uh, functionality available to those cars is going to increase as well. And this comes at the time when autonomous driving is growing and, uh, and getting better and better. So as you see the, both of these things converge, we're going to see a, a growth in what's available to the car that wasn't possible before. And it all starts at the, the connection of the car to the IP network, to the internet. And on the back end, the services that are available to provide it, like Xperia's AutoStage, which is a cloud-based service um, in, in uh, technical terms, microservices-based event-driven architecture that is built to scale globally and support millions and millions of automotive clients. Uh, that's what's happening on the back end. That's what's what we're building to provide the, the data necessary to uh, create these experiences in the car and create these products and services uh, as we move forward towards the um, the the future of automotive infotainment and entertainment. And as we look further out beyond just radio and audio, we get into uh, a bunch of of future looking products that are related to uh, video in, in a lot of cases, but also uh, other other markets that weren't normally available to cars like gaming. And uh, when we look at rear seat entertainment and automotive, uh, excuse me, uh, uh, autonomous driving, that starts to become more and more realistic. We operate at, at the, uh, the intersection of, of automotive, uh, of broadcast, and, and entertainment. And so we see value anytime that we can uh, bring those three industries together and have an open conversation and share ideas and concepts and uh, just push the, the, the technology forward by, by creating a, an opportunity for these conversations to be had. It's valuable for us. It's valuable for all three of those industries, and, and we're happy to be here. Thank you.